Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, you too? Get back with another video. I'm doing for this early month for y'all, so, uh, okay, thanks for my, um, you know, my, um, subscribe with everybody, man. And so, uh, okay, I'm dropping content y'all for each week, man, but, um, uh, so, y'all want y'all to, you know, make sure like button and the sub button, man, so, uh, so, okay, the video, uh, you know, I'll probably do the story, um, uh, I mean, so I probably do a talk about uh, the bad story about this lady who, you know, who known as the shooter, you know, at the uh, school, Huntsville, Alabama school, you know, known as the UOH. Uh, you know, she was, you know, by her um, killing three people, you know, at the school back around 2010, how she got the victim for the murder, how she killed two, um, uh, on, I think, how she killed three people at, at the school. So she got charged and convicted for the murder, you know, of three, um, People that were, you know, at the school, so how she was, you know, like child with kidding three people, so and um, yeah, she was um, I mean, suppose say that she was uh, I said a teacher at the school, how that you know, how she was a teacher, how she teach her students, and um, and so that she had like came to you know, to Alabama, um, you know, first she had like you know, um, first she was from Massachusetts, you know, but she moved to Alabama. Uh, to go to school here, but uh, how she, you know, was a, a type of um person who, you know, wanna, you know, you know, you know, I said go to college and stuff, you know. And so I read somewhere that the um, that's reason why she killed three people because you know the people, you know, they're trying to move her, you know, as being a teacher or because that she was acting too crazy, too erratic, you know, with students. How the students had known her, you know. Kind of know her being crazy, too uh, hostile, man. How she, you know, had ended up, you know, uh, I think getting fired from a job, you know, how she, you know, ended up killing, uh, you know, how she, you know, ended up you know, bringing a gun to the um campus, how she killed three people, so, you know. And so she was, you know, was a, you know, known, um, known killer who killed three people at, you know, in the school, and how the whole campus felt terrified that, you know, that the woman was. A you know, alleged killer man, how she had you know murdered and shot um you know the people. And so I think I read somewhere that you know the um she shot you know on on basically people you know in the meeting how she had you know had shot him in the meeting how she was you know I guess I get too much crazy how she you know ended up you know I seen her bring the gun to the um meeting how she ended up killing three um three people who was you know in a meeting but uh. And so I had read somewhere that her son, uh, and, uh, I, uh, and I read somewhere that she is, you know, receiving life in prison. I saw her role in how she is a uh, a person in Alabama who was charged with, uh, you know, uh, I said like school shooting. So how she was charged, you know, with a school shooting. And uh, I feel like, you know, three people, you know, that killed, you know, that's lives, you know, I guess due to her action, how she ended up killing three people, man, but... And so she had killed like two men and one woman. So she was, you know, a lone killer. How she, you know, ended up, you know, took people's lives and how she was angry. But and so I think she was angry the fact that, you know, that she, you know, being fired from a job, you know, being, you know, being, you know, I guess removed of being a teacher. But uh, how things, you know, kind of went to the head to where that she rather, you know, get, uh, I guess, revenge against people though. And how she, you know, you know, killing people off, man. But you know. I got read somewhere that that uh, her son, you know, was killed a couple years later. Man, how how her son was killed by you know by another gentleman. How these, I, mean, so I think that was Self and I think his name was Self, and how Self got killed, man. That last year, you know, I don't know what happened. And, and so I read somewhere that you know that son got murdered, man, and how his son is is you know he dead, you um, know. And so I feel like you know that it's a you know, Trace didn't hear about, you know, a family member losing, you know, her son, basically to gun violence and how gun violence can be, um, the to deal with is a family member losing their, you know, their son, daughter to the guns, but, uh, okay, dude was, his uh, name was, um, Vincent, so he's a dude that shot her son, you know, uh, that last year, I don't know, I guess, like, due to the argument went on, how he shot him, the Duff man, um, uh, and so it's a more within the world, like you know, uh, um. Uh, I read that, 
I read something, you know, this case involving her, you know, her being, you know, mentally unstable, I guess. I don't know. I guess she was kind of like, feel like she was mentally unstable they were, uh, to where that she is, you know, ready to do, you know, do anything. But and so I think she was like, you know, a, you know, a woman who lost her job, man, how uh, how they want to like, you know, get a fire, man. But and so she was, you know, a woman who, you know, I guess lost her way in life to where they, you know, that she ready to get, uh, I guess, payback. Revenge, you know, for the people who had, you know, got fired, man. But and so I feel like, you know, if I was a woman on the screen, you know, you know, got everything, her job, her career, man. Why she would, you know, take these people's lives, man, for them. I feel like, you know, it's behind people who for much, you know, not mentally unstable, man. How they can't handle some things, but and so I feel like, you know, the woman, you know, Emma Bishop was a female who, you know, I think she probably, I think, probably six years old. Or seven, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think she probably, I think, uh, probably six to eight years old or seven. I don't know. And so she been in jail for probably for over thing thirteen years now. So she got charged with murder back around two thousand ten. So she been there of. So I think she been there for thirteen years ago. So she been there for a while, man. You know, a decade ago, man. And how um. Uh, yeah, she had you know had the example of um apology you know to her uh, I guess. To where they that she wrote a type of apology letter to the family of the victim, how the victims, you know, got killed, you know, by her actions, you know, how she was um, you know, a woman who who got a lot of, you know, issues and stuff. I don't know, I feel like the woman got a lot of issues to where that she would take a life and how she ended up, you know, you know, being charged with murder, had kept a murder, man, how she ended up, you know, killing people off out there and um So I feel like you know it's a way to where things that might happen to where you know people, you know, who get Depressed, angry, you know, suicidal man, uh, vicious, evil man, into where they can get people killed, man. But and so I feel like you know, ambition was a woman who you know couldn't handle her own job being put in jeopardy, though. How she, you know, ended up killing these people, and um, and so I don't know. I feel like you know that um, and I do feel like you know she evolved myself a lot into issues or something. You know, like mental illness can be real. Like if you're a person who deal with, you know, things like mental illness and how things is getting too much bad for you, Mister. You know, you should need help, man. You know, for your issues. Your issues can, you know, affect on how you're living it. You know, in life and how people who are dealing with, you know, mental illness, Mister. People who can't get too much more, uh, you know, like control. Uh, you know, to where they, you know, can you know snap or go off, man. But and so I feel like you know she is, you know, in jail right now. You know. She doing life prison, you know. I say, you know, I parole and how she is, you know. Let me say, I don't know, you know, if her you know, mental state is there, there or you know, is she gone? I don't know. I guess her you know, mental state is still not there. I don't know. And so I feel like you know, she's doing, you know, the whole thing in life is to kill somebody, man. But and so uh, I don't know. I feel like her life was, you know, got, you know, got um, you know, put in in the awkward position to where they, you know, that she crashed out and killed. These people, man, I just crashed out, man. But uh, yeah, I think crashing out means you know, uh, someone who crash out means that you know, they, you know, they're ready to get evil on you, or you know, or you know, or they're ready to get you killed, man, or you know, have a type of um, type of vengeance on you to where it, that you know, they might get you know, this person killed, you know, over some um issues, you know, involving someone who's crazy in the head, someone. We don't know how, like, you know, you know, mentally, um, you know, mentally, you know, be stable in life or because they feel like, you know, their life is not there no more. How they, you know, they end up, you know, being too much more vicious in how they end up killing people off, man. But, and so I think, you know, ambition was a woman who just, you know, lost her way in life, you know, lost her job, you know, lost her own career, man. But, so I read that, that she was, you know, known, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I read somewhere that she was, you know, known as a biotech person. I don't know. I guess she, you know, kind of, you know, was studying um science. I guess science, you know, at the school and, and how she, you, you know, I guess you know, I, so I guess she won't be a teacher though. And how she, you know, won't be a teacher at the school and um, so I feel like you know it's a thing to where like you know if you are a person who trying to you know trying to you know go off and people man you know you need help man for real man like things might happen to where a person might go off, you know. Somebody might snap, you know, somebody, you know, might go off a person, but, and so, I don't know, I feel like, you know, like, this school shootings happen every other year, like, you know, like, 
like you know when somebody who trying to do you know type of shoot you know type of uh shooting in school mistake like like uh like uh folks know about the Caliban shooting on um, you know a long time ago and how they you know you know you know killing people off of the school and how the woman had killed the people so and so her son is dead and so her son got killed man you know by the dude never Vincent how the dude killed self and so I don't know I feel like you know I'll put to the uh her son how her son got killed man but so uh man I feel like you know, it's a tragic story you know tragic story uh, uh, and about her life and how her woman, you know, who lost her own everything, her career, her son, everything to the um, violence going on, how violence can be more bad, but uh, how far, you know, on how she is, I guess, in jail right now, you know, during her time in prison, man. And so I feel like, you know, her life got, you know, in that type of um, way to where that she rather crash out, man, and, you know, get her her own revenge by her, you know, you know being in review for a job, but. So I feel like it's that thing that you hear about, you know, someone, you know, who losing their loved one to the violence going on, but you know, um, so it's that right up, man. So so make sure you like, uh comment and subscribe with so peace. Amaya, take care and peace. Mm -hmm.